Hello, dear students. Welcome to our online English school. Today we will talk about English breakfast. Last lesson we learned about cuisine and today we will talk about British cuisine. You will learn how to give simple instructions using the imperative present simple and you will learn how to cook English breakfast. Are you ready? Let's start. Listen and answer the questions. You see here two types of breakfast. Which breakfast did the customer choose? Full English breakfast and continental breakfast. Let's listen and answer the question. Would you like a full English breakfast or a continental breakfast, sir? What's in the full English? Two eggs, sausages, mushrooms, baked beans, fried tomato, bacon, toast and coffee or tea. And how about the continental breakfast? That's cereal, orange juice, toast or croissant, and coffee or tea, sir. I'll try the full English. How would you like your eggs? Fried, scrambled or poached? Oh, poached, please. So, which breakfast did the customer choose? Yes, you're right. He chose the full English breakfast. In your opinion, which is the healthiest breakfast? Full English breakfast or continental breakfast? Which of the breakfast would you choose and why? And what do you usually eat for breakfast? Let's pay attention to the words that were described in English breakfast. There are two types of breakfast. Full English breakfast and continental breakfast. Full English breakfast consists of two eggs, sausages, mushrooms, baked beans, fried tomato, bacon, toast, coffee or tea. Please pay attention to such words as baked beans, bacon and toast. These are the new words. Next type of breakfast is continental breakfast, which consists of cereal, orange juice, toast, or croissant, coffee or tea. Please, pay attention to the word croissant. Repeat after me, please. Croissant. Very good. There are also three types of eggs in full English breakfast. Fried eggs, scrambled eggs, and poached eggs. Now you will do some listening exercise. First, Listen to the instructions, please. How do you make a traditional full English breakfast? Listen and watch to find out the answer. Here you see six sentences and you need to decide if they are true or false. Before we watch the video, let's read the statements. Takes a long time. You need eggs, sausages and some mushrooms. Fry the ingredients in vegetable oil. Start by cooking the eggs. Serve the food in a bowl. Serve it with orange juice and tea or coffee. Are you ready? Let's start. Today on Good Morning we are going to cook a traditional full English breakfast. With this dish you can impress your English guests or simply try something different from your usual breakfast. It's quick and easy to make. So, are you ready? So here is what we need. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need two sausages, a few mushrooms, a tomato, two eggs, some baked beans and some vegetable oil. You will also need a frying pan, a saucepan and a spatula. First, start by cooking the sausages, as they take the longest. Preheat some vegetable oil in the pan. Put the sausages in the pan. Don't forget to turn them regularly with a spatula so they don't burn. Next, slice the mushrooms and fry them in the pan with the sausages. Then, put some baked beans into a saucepan and stir gently while you heat them up. 
After that, if you like fried tomatoes, cut a tomato in half and add it to the frying pan with the sausages. Just cook them for a few minutes. Finally, crack the eggs into a pan and fry them. When the eggs are done, arrange everything on a large plate. Serve with some toast and a glass of orange juice and coffee or tea. Enjoy your meal! Now let's answer the questions. Takes a long time. Is it true or false? Yes, it is false. Because the speaker says it is quick and easy to make. Next statement. You need eggs, sausages and some mushrooms. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. For full English breakfast, you need two sausages, a few mushrooms, a tomato, two eggs, some baked beans and vegetable oil. Next statement. Fry the ingredients in vegetable oil. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Next statement. Start by cooking the eggs. Is it true or false? It is false. The cook says, first start by cooking the sausages. They take the longest. Next statement. Serve the food in a bowl. Is it true or false? It is false. The cook advises to arrange everything on a large plate. And last statement. Serve it with orange juice and tea or coffee. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. You need to serve the full English breakfast with some toast and a glass of orange juice and coffee or tea. Let's check. Excellent. Now you will learn some new vocabulary and you will also learn how to give simple instructions using the imperative present simple. To cook full English breakfast, you will need a frying pan, a saucepan and a spatula. First, preheat some vegetable oil in the pan. Pay attention to the word preheat. Next, don't forget to turn them regularly with a spatula so they don't burn. Please, pay attention to the phrase turn with a spatula. Next step, slice the mushrooms and fry them in the pan. Slice means to cut something into thin, flat pieces. Put some baked beans in the saucepan and stir gently while you heat them up. Stir means to mix a liquid or other substance by moving an object such as a spoon in a circular pattern. In the picture you see a spoon Cut the tomato in half and add it to the frying pan. And last step. Crack the eggs into the pan and fry them. Crack means to break. Let's continue doing listening exercises. Listen to the instructions first. Listen and put the pictures in the correct places. Look at the pictures. Are you ready? Let's listen and then you should put the pictures in the correct places. Today on Good Morning we are going to cook a traditional full English breakfast. With this dish you can impress your English guests or simply try something different from your usual breakfast. It's quick and easy to make. So are you ready? So here is what we need. Let's start with the ingredients. You'll need two sausages, a few mushrooms, a tomato, two eggs, some baked beans and some vegetable oil. You will also need a frying pan, a saucepan and a spatula. First, start by cooking the sausages as they take the longest. Preheat some vegetable oil in the pan. Put the sausages in the pan. Don't forget to turn them regularly with a spatula so they don't burn. Next, slice the mushrooms and fry them in the pan with the sausages. Then, put some baked beans into a saucepan and stir gently 
while you heat them up. After that, if you like fried tomatoes, cut a tomato in half and add it to the frying pan with the sausages. Just cook them for a few minutes. Finally, crack the eggs into a pan and fry them. When the eggs are done, arrange everything on a large plate. Serve with some toast and a glass of orange juice and coffee or tea. Enjoy your meal. Now let's check. Excellent. You see the picture of the full English breakfast. You need to match the halves of the sentences. Please pay attention to the imperative present simple. First, cook the sausages. Then, heat up the baked beans. Next, clean, slice and fry the mushrooms. After that, fry the tomatoes. Finally, crack the eggs and fry them. Let's check. Excellent! Now you know how to cook full English breakfast. Let's learn more words on cooking. First, listen to the instructions, please. Match the pictures with the verbs. Then listen and repeat. As you see, there are pictures and the verbs, and you need to match them. Some verbs are familiar to you, and some are not. Let's start with the verbs that you already know. Chop. Chop means to cut something into pieces with an axe or a knife. In your opinion, which picture best matches this word? Very good. Listen and repeat, please. Chop. Next word is peel. Peel means to remove the skin of fruit or vegetable. Which picture best matches this word? Very good. Listen and repeat, please. Peel. Next word is slice, which is a new word from today's lesson. Slice means to cut something into thin and flat pieces. For example, slice mushrooms. Listen and repeat, please. Slice. Very good. Next word is bake. Bake means to cook inside an oven. You may bake a pie. Listen and repeat, please. Bake. Very good. Next word is spread. Spread means to cover something. In your opinion, which picture best matches this word? Very good. Listen and repeat, please. Spread. Next word is mash. Mash means to crush or press food, usually after cooking it, so that it forms a soft mass. In your opinion, which picture best matches this word? Very good. Next word is grate. Grate means to rub food against a grater in order to cut it into a lot of small pieces. For example, grated cheese. Listen and repeat, please. Great! And last word is sprinkle. Sprinkle means to drop a few pieces or drops of something over a surface. Listen and repeat, please. Sprinkle. Very good. Now let's check. Let's again listen and repeat the words. Spread. Bake. Mash, slice, peel, grate, chop, sprinkle. Today you learned new words on cooking. You also learned how to give simple instructions using the imperative present simple. And you learned how to cook full English breakfast. The lesson is over. See you next time. Goodbye.